Webmasters, Jay Todd here on the floor of the International Casino Expo, and I've caught up with James from Clarion. James, thanks for so much for coming on. You know, not everyone can make it uh, every year, and sometimes people may be considering, well, you know, I'd like to go, but, but what's it going on for me? Well, you've got a lot going on for affiliates here. I've seen a, a ton of people that I know who are affiliates. They're getting a lot of value out of this. One thing, however, if you didn't make it this year, we've got going on behind us right now is this Ice Live 365, where they're actually, you guys are actually sending these out on the web so people can watch these sessions or these interviews live in real time. Yeah, so there's a lot of people that haven't been able to make it this year uh, for lots of, lots of obvious reasons. So we thought we'd stream a lot of our uh, content around the world to Asia, to Europe, to the US for people that couldn't actually be part of the event physically. Uh, so they still get to enjoy the content, feel part of the event um, um, wherever they are in the world. And it's streamed at times that uh, are kind of convenient to wherever they are in the world. So they can still feel part of the event for the next three days. Yeah, you know, if, they, if they're watching this video and going, well, I didn't get to, I didn't know this was going on, can they still go back and download them? Yeah, sure. All the content will be available post-show, so they can just enjoy it whenever they want. But, um, yeah, live now or after the event. Yeah, definitely. All right. Well, one thing that caught my attention, I spoke about it uh, a few weeks ago on one of the shows that I do, was the expansion of eSports. And I, I don't know what's going on in Europe with eSports, but I'm noticing in America, I think New Jersey just regulated eSports and a couple of uh, regulators that uh, provide data for esports competitions are moving into American markets. And you guys have a whole big thing, a whole big exhibition part of it over there dedicated to esports. Yeah, sure. We've got uh, the Big Betty uh, Esports Arena truck there. It's uh, got live tournaments, uh, Apex Legends every day. Uh, the professionals are going at it on stage. We have uh, talks, uh, the, uh, the impact of influencers in the industry. It's a real growth. Uh, industry for us at the moment and uh, the, the part of the show dedicated to esports is growing every year we're getting more visitors through the door um, yeah it's, it's a big booming uh, part of the sector for us yeah well I gotta say you said something about influencers there but I, I must have missed that email because <laughs> no, I'm kidding I have I know almost nothing about esports but but you know to kind of put a, a cherry on top of this Sunday you know I, I gotta say coming across I didn't know what to expect uh, coming back from a pandemic uh, the event is always huge, biggest in the industry, but I didn't know what I was going to find. And I, I must say, it is, it is much, much busier than I thought it was going to be. How's your attendance? Uh, attendance is really good. Um, as a marketeer, just to seeing the crowds come this morning was just, uh, God, it made my hair stand on end just to see, feel the buzz, hear it, see it, and just like speak to people and face to face for the uh, first time in a, in a couple of years. Uh, I think the industry's really missed this event and everyone seems to be really enjoying themselves. There's a real buzz around here. Um, yeah, could not be happier. They're really good. There's only so much you can do in an email or a Zoom interview. But being face to face and networking, that's what it's all about. So for those of you who didn't make it, you know, what would you tell them? What, what, why, why should they make an effort to be here next year? Well, I think you hit the nail on the head. Just coming back to see old friends, customers, clients, colleagues. It's, it's just everyone back together again. You can get so much more done just having that chat over a cup of coffee or a, or a beer at the bar. And yeah, it's just there's so much to, to see that we've all missed. Uh, the content here, the innovation here. There's a lot of new companies here that no one has seen before. Um, they haven't been at ICE before, so there's just, and, and you know, the industry's constantly innovating, so it's all here, and I, I think, you know, it's quite overwhelming for, for me, first time here, to see it all happen, and it's, yeah, it's just a, a great place to catch up face-to-face, -face, which we've missed so much. And I think you hit it on the head. It's the, the innovation. The industry is always changing. The industry is always reinventing itself. And Clarion puts on a hell of a show. You're always right there at the fore. You're keeping up with the times. And when something's hot, they've got a section about it. So, James, thank you so much for coming so on. Much.